Hello folks, this is Sula speaking. You're listening to the preview video for Playoff Game 1 of Civ 4 AI Survivor Season number 7. Let's go ahead and load up the map. So as our first playoff game, these are all leaders that finished in either first place or second place in the opening round. It is a bit of a surprise, the leaders that we got in this game, because there's only one of these six leaders that was seeded coming into this season. A lot of upsets here coming into this. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the leaders. Uh, here is the overview of our map. Relatively small map this time, just six leaders on a standard Pangea, three in the north, three in the south. So going around here, first up we have Hammurabi. Hammurabi was the winner of game number one back at the start of the season. A very unexpected winner. I don't think he's going to win a lot in the alternate histories, but we have yet to run them. In any case, he is a peaceful AI leader. He generally prefers to kind of sit in the map, in a corner of the map, building wonders. Has not been very successful before this season, largely because his traits are very poorly suited to a peaceful builder. Aggressive organized, not exactly peaceful builder traits. He has a coastal start here with double clams. Also does have the corn resource, which is a little... Actually, no, triple clams. Forgot the one down here. And uh, he does have a corn resource, which is a better fit for his starting text. All right, next up, we have Joao. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, Portugal, who had a very impressive game in game number four. Uh, we did already run the alternate history for that one. And he was a little bit lucky, but uh, he was still pretty strong in the alternate histories as well. Uh, his specialty is expansion, expansive imperialistic traits. Hadn't really done a whole lot with them prior to this season, but he had a good starting position in game number four, and he managed to avoid getting dogpiled. He is very middling in pretty much all other ways. He has kind of middle stats for just about everything you can think of. Middle peace weight, middle aggression, middle unit, unit build emphasis, middle uh, wonder build emphasis, just kind of like average is the way we think of him, but then is good at expanding with those expansive imperialistic traits. All right, next up then, we will go to the northwest corner. Over here is probably the biggest shocker from this season, Montezuma. Yes, the man himself actually winning his opening round game. Uh, just a game where everything went right for Monty. He, of course, is infamous for being a wildly aggressive leader, just a complete lunatic. He likes to found a religion out of the gate, and then he just kind of goes nuts attacking anyone who doesn't have his religion. And he honestly showed some restraint in that game, which was very unusual for him, and managed to uh, run over his neighbor Elizabeth, take her land, and then just eventually become unstoppable en route to domination. So in this game, he's drawn the northwest corner starting position. I don't know if this is an amazing fit for his starting text, but uh, he does start with mysticism hunting. If he opens animal husbandry, he actually has a decent looking start here. So we'll see if he's able to do it a second time. All right, those three leaders all won their opening round games. Now the remaining three leaders were all leaders who came in second place and were runners up in their opening round games. We're going to start with Surya Varman over here. Surya Varman was the only one of these leaders who was a seeded leader coming into this season. He almost certainly was the strongest leader on his particular map and really probably should have won game two, but ended up coming in second place to a very surprising Hannibal in that game. But uh, he's back here again. He has by far the best track record of any of these leaders in past AI Survivor history. He has drawn this southwest corner position in the middle of a lot of floodplains here. I don't know if this is a great fit for his starting tech, but there is an awful lot of commerce available here. And if you are one to believe in past track record, Surya Varman would definitely be your man here. Uh, he does have creative trait, which is very nice in these games. He is the only creative leader in the field. All right, next up then we have Churchill, who finished in second place in game number five. He didn't really do a whole lot in that game other than not get mauled by Kublai Khan, but that ended up being enough to get a second place finish. He also made it all the way to the championship game last season in season six. I personally don't think Churchill is a particularly good AI leader in this competition, but uh, he does have a habit of kind of hanging around. He has very good defensive traits and charismatic protective. Does not have very good economic traits, certainly. He has drawn the northern starting position here, or northeast position on the map. And uh, I don't think this is a great fit for his starting text by any means, but we'll see what he can do. A, he does at least have copper at the start, which is always nice for these AIs. And then finally, last but not least, second place finisher from game number two, Ramses of Egypt, another leader who had done very little in past survive, AI survivor history, but uh, somehow managed to avoid getting attacked. Uh, or, well, he did get attacked, but managed to survive in uh, game number eight. 
I suspect he will not do as well in the alternate histories, but we have not run them yet, so we have yet to see. Uh, he does have a very nice starting position here. Uh, I actually think he's going to be a pretty popular pick in this game, just because he has the wet wheat and a gold tile here, and he has excellent starting decks, as Egypt always does. Uh, and uh, maybe not quite as good leader traits with Spiritual Industrious, but he will have the opportunity to make something of himself here if he can survive being next to Montezuma on this map. So uh, I will zoom out and show the zoomed out map here for you guys. This will proceed according to our normal schedule for AI Survivor. We will have this taking place, uh, well, actually two weeks from today, two weeks from when this is being recorded. This game will take place on June the 30th, 2023, June the 30th. Uh, I want to take one week between the regular season and the playoffs. We can build a little bit more hype. We will do an alternate history survivor event next week on the 23rd. So feel free to tune in for that if you're interested in the alternate histories. But this one will take place on June the 30th. And then the following, the other playoff games will follow the two weeks after that. Uh, live stream information linked underneath this video. Our picking contest also linked underneath this video if you want to check it out. So hope that you will be able to join us for the playoff round with playoff game number one of Sephora AI Survivor season number seven. Until then, hope you guys are having a great week. Take care, and I'll see you again soon.